Is it me time? Yeah, right. Me time to say this. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever country you're in, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to do the same little message that Justin does in the Charlie Ward shows. Right, the granddaughter made me do it. Oh, what's that flying at me? Oh, did you see it just flew at me? Oh, anyway, I have to focus, Baba Bertha. This is not about me. This is about you watching the program, subscribe, shares, and like, do this. She said, you have to do this. I haven't got a clue why. Don't do that. Do this. All right. That looks a, bit, a little bit rude to me. I'm very, very sorry. But she said that she gets the subscribers, then she could start to stream. I don't know what that means either. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this program. Well, I hope you do. Sometimes she puts her heart and soul and everything else into it. As she said, she won't even let me go and have me bath. I want to go and have me bath. So please watch the program and then do this. Subscribe and share. And come on to Moving On TV. There it is down below. I can't see it, but you can see it. Oh, I don't get this anymore. I don't understand what's going on. And where we go one, we go all. I, I don't know what she's talking about. And have a nice, have an, have a nice day. Yeah, you see, I don't know what we're talking about. And please watch me programs. I better go. You won't watch this. Goodbye. Hey guys, welcome to the awakening. Um, <laughs> As you can see, I'm relaxing here in the beautiful sunshine. I just did an amazing rehearsal with the, the crew from Encounters. Um, keeping it going, keeping the musical, the mental health musical going as much as we can to enhance people's lives and Today, the awakening is number 72. And what am I going to talk about today? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure, it'll come to me. Um, I think what I want to talk about is I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll do a card, how to stay sane in a crazy world. That'll give me some direction of what I want to talk about today. Because um, I'm really sorry, it's taking me a while to get the awakenings on at the moment because uh, Adobe has been playing up really badly and I haven't been able to get the programs on as much as I'd like to. I've been struggling quite a bit with that. Um, so I think I've just got on number 71 for you. And I'm thinking of ways to help you and to get you to subscribe because it's really important for me that you subscribe to Moving On TV. Because that's going to help me to get a sponsor or sponsors. And that means I'll get paid for the work I do. And then, of course, I'll be able to pay an editor to come on board and do all the programs that are lying there waiting to go on. Um, as I was having a lot of stress with Adobe, and so it took me forever to get the one on that I wanted to get um, the awakening on. And I haven't been able to put on as many programs as I wanted to. Also, <laughs> when you go on to Moving On TV, there's got to be someone coming on there asking you to subscribe before the program comes on, um, which I thought might be a better idea, considering that some of you probably don't even watch the ends, the endings, and so you don't know that what I'm asking. And so, similar to the way Charlie has done this with Justin, at the beginning, I've decided to do it as well and uh, hope that the numbers are going to go up because, as I say, it's good. It helps me. The more subscribers I get, the more chance there is I'll get a sponsor. The more programs I can do for you, the more exciting things will happen and the more we'll grow and the more you'll get the great information that is going out for you on Moving On TV. There are so many different playlists on there. If you go onto the channel, if you click down below, 
there are so many great playlists. We've got the Tarot Show. I'm working on Pick a Card Reading. That's going to go on hopefully tonight, I hope. Uh, we've got The Awakening, and as I say, that is taking you from dark into light. We've got Baba Bertha and comedy. And she's going on probably about once a week now. And she goes live as well and makes you laugh. And tries to put the world to rights the way she thinks. <laughs> um, we've got the hypnotherapy that Martin does. Uh, he tries to do every couple of weeks to put on the hypnotherapy to help you relax. And he's a qualified hypnotherapist, so you get that. Um, you get all the techniques that I use and which keep me calm and safe and which other people don't want you to know, especially if they want to pack you with medication and rubbish. You get talk shows, you get the community show, you get the holistic show with amazing stuff about vitamin D, the sunshine, uh, which we've put on. Uh, we've put on a program about MS and how uh, from Matt Embry. There's loads of stuff on there. Um, what other playlists have we got? Um, we've got Catman Chat, which is Peace the Cat, with Martin doing a little bit of a silly chat thing. We've got Moving on Talent. We've got Encounters, of course. And today um, we did um, an Encounters workshop. And um, we're still looking for talent guys, so we need more people. We need a couple more characters and also uh, we're looking for chorus and for people who are talented to come on board. But now we've got a policy that if you want an interview, if you're not connected to saving the kids and innocence, then you either pay or you barter because there's got to be an exchange and so it's good for you and it's good for me, it's good for us. So, you know, anyway, um, let's choose a how to stay sane a crazy world card and see. <laughs> choose again. I like it when I get to choose again, but because I'm struggling a bit to know what to talk about in the awakening today, it's asked me to choose again. Um, I'm looking at the sky at the moment and I'm not sure what's going on with the sky. There's lots of strange, like, flaky lines and I'm hoping it's not geoengineering. I was hoping that was gone. Maybe it's angels. Utsava says it's angels. Could be, that would be nice, wouldn't it? So choose again is really a good one because if you're not happy at all, you can choose again. And I believe that everyone can choose to a certain extent, everyone. Now, I'm not going to be nasty and say that if people say they can't choose, and I'm just going to say to them, yes, you can, because there was this awful program on with Sean Atwood about this young girl that's been sex trafficked, and they're threatening her family and her kid, and she's still being sex trafficked. And I find it difficult to get my head around that one, but it's because the police and the authorities are not supporting her. That's the kind of world we live in. So when we say choose again, she was brave enough to go and talk to someone, Sean Atwood, about the situation. She was brave enough. What is holding you back from anything that is not working in your life? Choose again. If you're not happy with where you live, if you're not happy with your job, and I'm not saying you can just make that choice like a big jump and just walk away. But you can set tiny goals on a day-to-day -day basis to help you move towards your dreams. And if you don't know how to do it, I can help you. So the card choose again is a really good one for people. But, be but because I feel that way today, I'm going to choose another one. 
Let's choose another one. So I'm asking my intuition to be drawn to whoever. This is how to stay sane in a crazy world. I channeled these cards after I came out of the therapeutic community. Rest and recuperate. Wow, celebrate. Today you have chosen the number seven, a really powerful healing number. It is said that God or love rested on the seventh day. So today is your time to rest. Even if it's just a minute of rest, whatever you can take, it will benefit you so much. It's better if you can take 10 minutes or half an hour or a day to rest. Just rest, breathe, just be. Right now, don't be a doer. Give yourself that gift and rest. Today, I will be a human being, not a human doing. I will rest. I will put my feet up for as long as I can because I'm worth it. You can do that. Look, person in the hammock. You can always take a few minutes for yourself. You're going to have to, guys, because in order to stay well and healthy and balanced, you need to take time out. And you know, I was getting to myself to such a level again yesterday because Adobe was messing around and I couldn't do my editing. One minute there was no sound, one minute there was no film. And it gets to me because I have a lot of fun with moving on TV or else I wouldn't do it. I love it. Have a lot of fun making the programs. I have a lot of fun doing everything, the editing and everything. But when it starts to play up, I keep asking, why am I bothering? Why bother if it's playing up like that and I can't get any support? Um, and so I left it, just left it. And then, you know, I've had a lot of sessions with Adobe because it kept bro breaking down. So I try everything, everything that they say. And I try this and I try that. And at some point it starts to work again. Choose again. Sometimes you have to walk away. Rest and recuperate and walk away from everything. And choose again. So, um, yeah, so I think that's the message for today. So I've done a rehearsal. I've done a Zoom, a big Zoom, with the cast of Encounters. We've worked on characterization, some improvisation. We're trying to figure out how we can get back together and rehearse together properly. I'm not sure if that's possible yet because of all the madness and the lies and God knows what. Um, but now I choose to be in the allotment and I'm just going to lie here and meditate and be a light being because I don't always feel good I don't feel very good at the moment you can't always do anything about the way you feel you just have to feel it and then choose what you're going to do about it. So I'm choosing to do nothing at the moment. I'm just lying here in the allotment, in the quiet, breathing, relaxing. It's not a very exciting awakening today, not like yesterday. But please watch yesterday's. It's got a lot of great, great information, great techniques in there for you that are going to really, really help you move on, really help you. Step one, two and three of the 12 steps. Coming out of denial, saying that you find a higher power. My higher power at the moment is just nature, listening to the birds, tweeting. So quiet, there's nothing here. Lying when in here with the sun when it shines. I've got a duvet just in case. <laughs> and you're all invited to visit, as I said, because I don't like being on my own all the time. So let me know if you want to come and visit.
Listen to the birds. Choose again. Can you hear them? I can hear them. Beautiful. Welcome to the awakening, guys. I know it's carrying on a bit and some of us are becoming very impatient. But as I put in some of the other programs, and I think you may have watched them, Heart Vision, everything seems to happen in divine timing. And there seems to be a reason for things that happen. And if we can hang on to that, and choose again, even if it's just a small thing. And we can maybe we can get happy. Like those little birds are tweeting away. Listen. Love you lots, guys. Please subscribe, share, like, as Baba Bertha asked you. Moving on TV1 at gmail.com if you want to come on board. If there's anything I can do to help you, we barter for people that don't have very much. But we do exchange. That's really important for people to do. To exchange their talents, their creativity. If you want to sponsor us, that'd be even better. Well, so cool. And as I say, if you subscribe now, you get 10% of a consultation, hair analysis consultation with Rebecca from Biomineral Balance. You get entered into a draw where there's three prizes going this month. A hypnotherapy session with Martin, trained, qualified hypnotherapist. Tarot reading with me. Life coaching session, trained life coach to help you move on small steps and choose again you can do it join moving on tv bringing the hope and glory back into our lives love you lots guys and i'll just turn the camera now i'm going to show you the shed look at it look how pretty it is it's all pink <laughs> i'll just zoom on it i've made it into a violet flame shed i'm not i haven't painted it but look See the pink bit, the pink bit, and inside, we've got the fire of flame now on the wall. And the sh when the sun shines, it's beautiful, you've got all the lovely pink reflections going on. Take care guys, and yeah, just turn it back to me a minute, I was just thinking of something else before I go, hang on. I don't want to edit this, so, because it takes forever. <laughs> Just thinking about another thing, is if you're anything like me and you can't work anymore because you won't wear masks, I can't and I won't, because they're not safe, they're not healthy as we know. If you do have to wear them for a short time, make sure you get lots of oxygen. Go into nature and breathe in that good-ass prana, baby. As Ralph Smart says. If you're watching Ralph, come on board Moving On TV. I'd love to interview you, mate. But, um, as I said, it kind of limits the kind of work that I can do and you can do now. Because there are really, you've got to be self-employed. You've got to do your own thing. If you're not going to buy into the madness and wear a mask, then we've got to do our own thing. We've got to learn how to live our lives according to what we really want but it does limit us and uh, I'm just saying you know we have to choose again and take a deep breath and meditate and figure out what you really want to do with your life because as you know I can't work in a residential home anymore because of the fact that I cannot buy into it. I just can't anymore. So um, take care, lots of love, and yeah, keep in touch. Hope this is taking you a little bit into the light. 
If you need any more help, then contact me. Take care now. Bye.